guys, so what I wanted to talk to you about is inspiration and what to do when inspiration is just not coming. Those scary times and how to get through them. So let's start. Let's imagine you have a deadline tomorrow and you just don't feel like painting. You feel like you don't even know how to paint. There's hope. What do you do in this moment? I have a few suggestions for you. First, ask yourself, what have you done before that helped you? Because I am sure this is not the first time you're dealing with this situation. I am sure you have felt this way before and you made it through. So let's try to think and remember. What did you do last time? you felt stuck. If you can remember that and remember what you did and what helped you, then definitely do that. It is possible that you would not remember what you've done or you're just too stressed and you can't even think about it or you're freaking out because your deadline is tomorrow and you can't paint. I get it. There are more options. You can always watch a movie. That helped me. Personally, I don't watch movies very often, if ever. I almost never watch movies, but when I do, it helps. So watch something really good. My only suggestion, guys, don't go for TV shows. They are the ruiners. They actually ruin the theme, and you get too drugged into them. There is no conclusion. They end on cliffhangers. So don't do TV shows. Documentaries are great. Or pick up a book book that really inspires you, book written to inspire. There are a lot of great books. In one of my future videos, I will tell you my top five of inspirational books that always help me to get through those moments. There are tons of videos on YouTube that can help you get inspired. So just pick one and watch it and see if it works. If that doesn't help you, I know it helps many people to look at the other people's art, at the other artists' art. Go search online the artist that inspires you and look at their work. To be honest with you, that never worked for me, but I know many people for who it does work. What works for me is to review my older work. So find a piece that was the most emotional for me because when I painted it, I was very connected with it and I was in that moment of creativity. So if I can look at it, find it and feel those emotions again and emotionally connect to that piece, I'll bring myself to the same state of creativity that I was in when I was creating it. That works great for me. So you guys can try both and see which one works better for you. Try it. But the most important thing that I think everybody always underestimates is actually so simple. You have to start painting. Even if you don't feel like it, just pick up a brush, pencil, charcoal, whatever you're using, pick it up and start it. You might feel bad for first five, 10 minutes, but once you push through it, you will get into it and you will get inspired. Another thing too, if you guys don't have a strict deadline, but you're just stuck working on certain painting, the easiest thing to do is to put it aside and start working on another one. That's what I personally always do. I don't work on one piece until I finish it. I work at three, four pieces at a time. So when I am a little bit tired of one piece, I switch to another one. So I always switch between pieces. That personally helps me a lot. To review what we discussed, first, Think what helped you before and try doing that. Second, try watching something inspirational. Video, movie, documentary, or try reading a good book. Even just a few chapters will help you a lot. Now, third, try looking at other artists' works who inspire you or review your personal work and try to connect with a piece that was the most emotional for you and try to connect to the way you felt when you created it. And last, just do it. Just pick up a brush, pencil, charcoal, whatever you're using, and do it. Just start. 
Make it through 10 minutes and you will feel better. I promise you. That's what I have as far as advice for you guys. I hope this helps. Keep creating.